Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany. Hi, how are you? I know I haven't done a voiceover in quite some time now. It's been at least like three videos, the past three videos I haven't done a voiceover. So this is uh, going to be quite uncomfortable for me. Um, so please be patient with me because voiceovers are very hard for me. So, um, and yeah, and I'm still kind of getting used to, you know, talking while watching the video playback and, and trying to talk about the build. It's sometimes it's hard for me to describe things on spot, so but I also wanted to come on here and just kind of connect with you guys because I feel like I haven't really been active on social media lately. Honestly, the reason why I haven't been very active on social media is because I'm still trying to get used to quarantine life. Um, as everyone knows by now, you know, everyone's on lockdown and California is really like really really on lockdown um you actually have to have like a special permit to work right now they gave my husband a special permit to work um because he's like an essential worker i guess um he's in construction he works like at a water sewage plant so he still needs to work and they gave him like a special permit so it's getting a little crazy and we're still trying to keep like our head on our shoulders and trying to like stick it out and uh and for some people it's getting it's it's really hard um for us it's been an adjustment so you know we're just trying to survive out here and trying to do our best and uh getting adjusted to a new schedule has been <laughs> it's been hard it's been really hard um you know all of my classes switched to online and um i've been trying to get comfortable with you know all the online classes because I'm not used to that I'm used to going to the campus and actually going to class and being <laughs> active in class and talking to the teacher one-on-one -on -one and everything but um, unfortunately I don't really have the toys right now you know everything's on lockdown we have to do what we what we with what we got so that's that's what's happening and that's one of the reasons why I haven't been active is because I'm still trying to get adjusted to everything that's going on so I just really hope that you guys have you know patience with me on on trying to also get used to being active on social media because I just started this channel not too long ago and uh, it's been crazy this channel's growing I have 20 subscribers thank you by the way for subscribing to me I am so happy uh, that you decided to support me in my hobbies so thank you very much um and yeah i just i'm just really excited that the channel is growing and that my following on twitter is growing and i feel bad for not being that active because you know i have a following i guess now and i feel like i need to keep up with it you know um but I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try. But I also, I want to come on here and connect with y'all. You know what I mean? And talk to you guys on, on what you guys want to see more of. Because um, right now, I've just been randomly building and things like that. And sometimes I get in a little rut of what I, you know, I don't really know what to do. Um, so having that input from you guys would be really great. Um, so if you guys have any ideas on anything that you guys want to see from me, like please let me know down in the comments or follow me on Twitter and like tweet at me and you know, tell me that you what you want to see um, and I'll do it. Anyway, I also believe that it would also be more beneficial to my own mental health to try to connect with you guys because I am going through, you know, self-isolation. It's really taking a toll on my mental health and I feel like, you know, I need to kind of sit here and have a conversation with you guys because I feel like that would make me feel so much better because right now it's hard. It's hard for a lot of people um, and I know if anybody else is going through it, um, you're not alone like I want to be here to like also support those who are having trouble you know adjusting to this so you know I just want to let you all know we're all in this together and right now it's really great for us content creators also to you know have the time to sit here and be able to <laughs> work on our creative builds so and I'm also really appreciative of everybody who uh, is supporting me and supporting this channel and I really really appreciate it but anyway going back to this build I decided to do something jungle themed today <clears throat> and as you guys can see I have decided to use the terrain tools for the first time and um, I actually like the way the 
this house came out, um, I obviously didn't do anything super extreme on the terrain tools. All I did was kind of raise it up a little bit there on the center. Um, and I just had the idea that I wanted to create like this big entrance way with the stairs. And um, it came out exactly the way that I envisioned it. So it, I, I love it a lot. I had this idea since I was like <laughs> stuck in <laughs> quarantine that like I just wanted to like come up with like my happy place, you know, and the first thing that I thought of was Hawaii and I thought about like building some like something in Solani because you know that's I guess the closest that you can get to like a tropical island, but I feel like um, Solani wasn't the best um, place for me to do this build because I was looking for more something more jungle like you know when i went to hawaii last year with my husband and we went for a honeymoon and it was the most beautiful gorgeous place on earth and i fell in love with it so much and i fell in love with the jungle side of the island I, we went to kona which is like the big island and um kona has these like four different areas i guess four different like I don't know the word for it, but you know, one side of the island is kind of all plains and like desert like, and like the other side of the island is very like jungle like. And um, I don't know if anyone knows this, but fun fact you know, Jurassic Park was actually filmed on that island, and on the um, jungle side is where they filmed the the Jurassic Park movie. So I wanted to find a world that was something close to being, you know, jungle-like because not all Hawaii is all beaches and stuff, you know. There is a lot of beautiful places in Hawaii, lots of beautiful waterfalls. But anyway, going back to this build, I feel like I like went on a ramble right there about why I mean it is my favorite place on earth so um but anyway I wanted to find something more jungle-like so we ended up with um, going into the jungle world and putting a lot or building a lot here and that's what I decided to do even though it's not really near any beaches but I mean vacation's not always about beach life you know what I mean like I personally love love like being inside like a jungle like like I'm telling you when I went to Hawaii and we were like hiking through like the jungle area it was beautiful and I love being surrounded by nature it's like one of my favorite things in the world I love going hiking and camping and seeing all kinds of different plants and trees and but anyway <laughs> uh, again going back to this build because I'm getting out off a of track here but Anyway, I decided to go ahead and go with the jungle world or the jungle adventure world, which I think is a destination uh, world. It's not necessarily like a residential world where you can just like <clears throat> have your sims move in, which is sad. I wish I had the ability to actually move to the jungle. I think that'd be really cool. Um, but we don't right now, so I just decided to make this somewhat like of a vacation home, um, or I, I named it a vacation home just because of that. But you can always download this um, and use it like as a normal home. It only has one bedroom, um, so that's the only downside to this. It's not really like a family friendly home. Um, there's not really a whole lot for kids to do here. It's just like a house that's meant to be like a vacation home where you come and just like relax. Um, there is like a full kitchen, a big living room, and the foyer. Um, that's all that's downstairs and then upstairs just leads into one bedroom. There's no uh, like door to the bedroom or anything. It's like one of those um, bedrooms that you kind of just like <laughs> walk, walk upstairs and boom you're in a bedroom. So that is what is happening on the inside. I did cut out me doing the um, the layout of the house or the, the floor plan I guess because like I was trying to figure out the layout for a long time and it took me forever. Um, every time that I do something that is not necessarily planned out because um, I just went into this build and kind of start building and this is what I ended up with. But every time that I do a house that isn't following like a certain floor plan that I get like off of online or something, um, I always have a hard time doing the floor plan. So I always just cut it out because it's just like hours of me going back and forth and uh, trying to figure out what to do. But I kept the layout very, very simple. I put the kitchen on one end of the house and the living room on the other and then the bedroom upstairs. And this 
building does have building potential so like if you decided to download this and you wanted to add an extra room you could you could actually extend the upstairs over onto the kitchen um so you could have like a bedroom up, up on top of the kitchen because right now i think the bedroom is like above the living room kind of but you can definitely make this your own by you know extending the upstairs adding more rooms there's definitely a lot um of potential <laughs> a lot of building potential to be done here um, but yeah the I think it's a really cool house um, I try to keep it very like classic on the inside and I try not to clutter it too much but I did go a little overboard with the kitchen I love cluttering kitchens it's probably like my favorite part of the build is actually being able to decorate the kitchen figure out how I want the kitchen to look because kitchens for me are like the heart of the of the home like i absolutely love <laughs> or i'm in love with kitchens um and i like the idea of being able to customize your own kitchen in the sims i think that's you know fun to do and um if you guys notice on you know my past videos i don't tend to like clutter like the bedrooms the living room or anything like that but i tend to clutter the <laughs> the kitchen a lot because i just love the way that kitchens like the way they look when they're cluttered I just love the way they just look so homey and like peaceful I don't know there's just something about them I can't explain it <laughs> but I decided to go ahead and just add you know um, a few things here and there I try not to go too overboard but you know I can't, I can't help myself I added a little coffee machine or espresso machine for them um, I figured that pe whoever was living here likes coffee I love coffee, therefore the people living here likes coffee, so. <laughs> Although I think another reason why I don't usually clutter the rest of the rooms in the house is because by the time I'm done with the kitchen, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else gets that feeling where you're just kind of like spending hours on a build and then by the time you get on onto like the inside of the build you're like oh, I don't want to like I don't want to furnish this especially if you're working like on a bigger build it, it, it can be hard sometimes um, to work non-stop on a build um, I have to be really super excited about a build in order to like sit down and do it all at once I think this particular build took me about like three days to do because working with the terrain tools for the first time was really tricky and it can get really out of hand really quickly if you don't know what you're doing but I can't personally like show or like explain how to use the terrain tools exactly but I will link below it how I learned to use them I learned um, by watching uh, Kate Emerald who is a master of mash and builds my god if you guys have never heard of her I suggest you go to her channel I will link her channel down below because she makes the most incredible <laughs> mansions I have ever seen in my life and sometimes I'm like where do you get these ideas from because wow just wow every time I see her videos I'm like wow I'm not good at building <laughs> Uh, but anyway, um, no, I love her. She's great. I am, and I love her thick accent. I think it's super cute when she's, you know, doing her voiceovers. But I like her a lot, and I'll link her tutorial on terrain tools down below so you guys can like look into it because terrain tools are pretty cool. I mean, if you learned how to use them, it, you know, you'd be pretty cool. And I learned a lot in the video that I watched. Um, that I didn't know before and it made it easier to create this particular build because I was able to do that I was able to like research into it and like learn how to use them first because um, I've had experiences in the past where I've tried to play with the terrain tools and it is hard and it, it still is um, even though I've like tried you know gone over the tutorial and everything it's still hard and it can get like I said out of hand very quickly um, to those who are listening who are a master at terrain tools, I don't know how you how you do it. <laughs> I don't know you have so much patience because, like I said, it took me like three days to finish this build. And I didn't even do that much on the terrain. <laughs> like, I just like made like a small little hill 
but I also used the the wild grass to also hide like the dirt of like the hill and I actually got that little trick also from Kate Emerald she tends to do that in her builds as well and I didn't think it would look so good but it does it looks really nice it looks like a bunch of wild grass and I love it um, anyway we're doing the living room right now and with the living room I could not decide what color I wanted I, I mean it took me a long time to do this living room um, by this time it's like day two um, <laughs> of this build and I'm like I don't know what to do I don't know what kind of furniture to use I obviously kind of wanted to use jungle adventure furniture oh my god that that side table and the coffee table you would think that they would have that same exact swatch <laughs> Or have the same swatches, but they don't. I don't understand that. I just don't get how EA can make two, two of like, uh, okay, <laughs> I don't know how to explain this, but like, okay, those all, those two like pieces of furniture obviously go together. You know, they're from the same pack. So why don't they have the same swatches? I don't understand, EA. <laughs> It was kind of upsetting because I wanted to use the lighter swatch with the coffee table and the, the um, side table and they didn't have one so but anyway I decided to go ahead and use the jungle adventure furniture obviously because this is a jungle adventure themed house um, there's obviously a lot of other like objects from other packs but most of the furniture is from Jungle Adventure and I mixed in some other stuff that would, I thought would look good obviously. Um, when I do my builds I don't like to like limit myself to you know certain packs or whatever. I mean I could make more builds. I just recently made a base game house and that was really hard because it's base game doesn't have a lot of options and uh, I like to have options I love having options <laughs> um, which is why I bought all of the packs you know um, but it's hard and I get that sometimes like a, not everybody has all the packs and you know that's fine so if you guys do want me to make you know houses particularly to certain packs um, then I can do so you know but um, I usually don't um, not by myself at least or not if it's not requested like I, I usually don't <laughs> um, I like to be as creative as I possibly can with all the options that I have um, but like I said if you guys do want me to start making more specific houses to certain packs I will um, and I could probably do like a we could probably do like a series you know of all the packs like you know I've already started with the base game so if you guys do want to see another pack um, or a particular pack I can do that <laughs> for you guys um, sound off below if you do want that um, and let me know on Twitter I'll probably do a poll later about it maybe <laughs> maybe I'll forget I don't know we'll see we'll see what happens <laughs> that does remind me though I probably should do a shout out to myself <laughs> How sad is that? Oh my god. Anyway, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, go ahead and do so. I mean, I'm gonna, like I said earlier, I'm gonna try to be more active as I can. You know, the more this channel grows, the more I feel responsible to have to be on social media. But I just hope that you guys are patient with me because um, I do like to take like small breaks at a time from social media, only for my own mental health. But, um, but yeah, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. That's where you're going to find all of my updates for all of my videos, new videos that are coming out, ideas, things like that. If you want to interact with me or talk to me or whatever, Twitter is like the best place to do so. And I would love to like get to know you guys too. I want to know, get to know my subscribers. Um, I want to get to know like what you guys like, what you guys are into. <laughs> oh my god, I sound like a creep. <laughs> I'm not a creep, I swear. <laughs> But anyway, let's be friends, you know, um, especially right now with, with all that's going on. We, you know, need to reach out to our community and, you know, stay in, in contact and stuff like that. And I feel like, you know, continuing to support each other. And I really love this community. I love the Sims community. I just recently found the Sims community not too long ago, you know, at the beginning of last year. That made no sense. The beginning of last year. No, it was the end of last year oh my gosh <laughs> I've been in isolation so long I don't even know what time is <laughs> but anyway it was like the end of last year and I you know 
started watching like sim videos on YouTube and stuff because I started getting into the sims again and you know I've been playing for a long time I've been playing since I was a kid but at the same time like I've never really like dove into the gaming community that much in the sims community and when I found this community I just felt so inspired to come on here and make my own channel finally decide to have the confidence to put out my builds and I'm just so happy that there are people out there that love them and will continue su to support me and I love that so thank you um, but anyway we are getting to the end of the video here. Um, the upstairs, um, as you can see, it's very simple. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of room to clutter it too much, but I did clutter the desk a little bit. And I love that mirror that came with this pack. The one that, uh, that big old standing mirror. Oh, I, just, I love it so much. I wish I had one in real life. Um, but anyway, I didn't do so much on the outside. I just really wasn't sure what to do. There, there was just a, so much empty space outside that I wasn't sure what to do with that area. Um, I wanted to add like an outside table and a bar area, you know, so you can get drinks and stuff and be outside and hang out and chill. <laughs> but the portable bar that I chose just it looks so weird and awkward anywhere that I put it. I could not figure out what to do. Put some planters to build the space and I think I added a fountain. Um, I wanted to add a hot tub but I couldn't find any place for it that would look good so I decided to just scratch that. I do like the fountain though. Anyway I'm going to go ahead and take this time to just thank everybody for watching. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. I really really do. Um, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and anyway I'm going to go ahead and sign off now because the screenshots will be coming up soon in a couple of minutes or so. And um, yeah and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button share this video if you like it if you want to share it to your friends um and yeah and don't uh go to twitter and don't forget to follow me there um if you have any ideas concerns anything you want to ask me or you just want to talk to me go ahead and hit me up on twitter anyway i will see you guys next time in the next video peace out y'all bye